why do we value things and why do prices go up? And I think a lot of it because like I collect um Star Wars, the Black Series, the six inch figures. I have Hot Toys as well. Um, I have the Funko Pops. I pretty much got a little bit of it all, Legos. And um, to me, when I think about like my collection and stuff, it's about the memories of me going out and getting a figure or ordering a figure. Because I know there's some figures I've paid so much overpriced for when I know it's like a, it probably takes like $10 for them to make in total with like the labor, the painting and all that. And then I've ended up paying like $50. I think the most I've paid for a figure is $60, I think, for a six inch black series one. But the supply and demand is definitely one of them because if there's a lot of enough figure and no one wants them, no one wants to buy them, it's going to be cheaper, right? They're going to try to do whatever they can to get rid of them so they'll discount them it, it all comes from the story you know like oh yeah when i go to tell people when they ask about my collection i could be like well i got this figure from this store this figure from this store i got it from this person you know how much is someone willing to pay and it's all about you know you could play the long game or you could play the short game you know uh the long game is maybe it goes down in price over time maybe it goes up the short game is maybe it comes out, it's a new release, and people are charging 200% markup price, And but you really want it so bad and you want it now and you're not willing to wait. You're willing to pay that extremely high markup price and just to have it sooner instead of later, you know? Yeah, I've noticed that with my own experiences collecting hot toys, you know, because it's not like I'm just buying the new ones that come out. Matter of fact, I think most of the ones I own are the ones that sold out by the time I w was buying them, you know, so I bought them on you know, I bought them on eBay. I think what you're saying, Ethan, is really important about playing the waiting game because it, I've discovered that if you actually do just wait for the right opportunity, you can save hundreds of dollars. Like, like the Black Widow one, I saved out like a hundred and one hundred and twenty or so dollars on her because I waited because she's usually much higher on the secondary market. But I got, I just found a good deal on eBay. It just so happened to pop up. I was like, wow, that's good. There's at least like three you're hairy. Ones. Yeah, the hairy. hairy. That one's a limited edition. Like, truly, they're never going to reissue that. Um, and I saved, like, I think 100 or so dollars on that. I had the process of looking through the eBay search. And then if it pops up, I'm like, oh, wow. I didn't, you know, it's not like I'm, like, looking for just Harry. It's like it just Harry popped up for that price. I'm like, that's a good deal. But honestly, I've been questioning myself lately. I'm like, is this figure, like, this 12-inch figure, is this really worth $500, $700? Like, am I really, do I really want to spend six hundred or seven hundred dollars just because it's you know just because it's that rare and because i can't get it anywhere else you know when the price well, might i have another down. thing to add too like yeah. you were saying like uh there's the long game and short game but then there's also the pre-order game you know yeah. um yeah. a lot of the greater deals are when you pre-order a figure you know you get it at a guaranteed price and you don't have to worry about the secondary market or retail you get it at what they say for the pre um, pre order, and usually you got to make a deposit or whatever. With my Obi Wan Deluxe, you know, I saved shoot. Now that figure goes for like eight hundred, yeah, and I paid on like two seven. I found a good. Yeah, I know. I, I still so paid much way. for it. Yeah, dude, I still pay way more than you did, but I I still found one less than eight hundred. I was like, okay, like I've noticed, like the new Black Widow figure from Hot Toys, the Endgame one, it's like selling for like one hundred and seventy. Or one hundred and eighty dollars when it's still you can still buy it on sideshow collectibles for two hundred and thirty five plus taxes and shipping. So I'm like, there's certain characters that just aren't as popular. The man, the man, the Mandarian from Iron Man three, he's extremely low priced all the time. But you know, Electro was low too from Amazing Spider Man two. He was always mm -hmm. one one seventy, but one, the new the one one seventy. Yeah. Ever since the No Way Home trailer, he's gone up in price again. I'm like, so sometimes mm -hmm. you know these figure prices on eBay. You can't always trust them. Like sometimes they can just go up and down. So it makes you question the value of them. But I think it's also a creative way from, from the makers or, or the designers to create a demand for it. They create a certain brand for Star Wars. They create a certain brand for Harry Potter or whatever it is, right, that people are collecting. And, you know, once, once people create that storyline, that, you know, idea, you know, that's when people start valuing that. They, they almost feel invested in the story. And so they want to, you know, that's why they, people go to Disney because they feel invested in these stories that Disney has provided uh, through video form, through animation form. 
and now they they want to experience the being part of that culture or being part of you know the the world that you know these characters live in you know the demand comes in and people like prices start going up you value it more when you work harder to get it right mm -hmm. like it's not just that you have the figure right but that you worked hard to be first in line or uh first in the pre-order or first you know or travel uh, hundreds of miles different yeah, like you have yeah, yeah. i also want to jump into art you know because we look at art like the most famous art pieces they're worth millions of dollars the original mm -hmm. ones and even some really high quality prints are worth worth a good chunk of change i mean they can be worth a couple hundred dollars depending on how, how high quality how big they are so i'm wondering you know and i'll jump to Jose on this and then jump to ethan uh uh like why does art certain art you know not all art like some art just doesn't sell for anything but some of it does some of it captivates people and people are literally willing to spend thousands if not millions of dollars for a certain art you know? sometimes it's personal reference or personal preferences uh but also sometimes it comes down to how long did the creator take in terms of like making this art you know some people uh like spend hours just making one painting right and and maybe the the artist themselves has done some some work you know to to make their name their name be be known in the art world because you know i sell balloon figures uh at, at restaurants and you know at first when i arrived nobody gets nobody gets a balloon right and it's pretty interesting nobody's getting a balloon once i get there because you know i'm, I'm first you know getting started i'm making balloon figures kind of like putting them all over myself just so people can see them and you know once somebody buys one balloon then all of a sudden like people start looking people start staring like oh man that guy had a balloon like i want to get one for my kid showing a small example of the macrocosm of of art and everything that happens but i think as more people start seeing like oh they they own that piece of art like i want to own something similar and so it starts creating almost like a demand psychological you know you see this person likes and then groups of people start building a crowd like jealousy yeah. basically you know like um self status and all that you know yes like, oh this person got a balloon well i can get a balloon i could get two you know mm -hmm. oh you can buy one i can buy one too i can buy two you know and it's not an investment you know it's kind of like um like a temporary satisfaction why would people go and spend a lot is it just for the the self-status of other people seeing their kids with it and other kids not having it. Because it's, it's also the enjoyment. Like, uh, yeah. They, you know, they just want it. to, like, it's almost like...